I'm making caramel chocolate candy apples today, but before I get into the video, let me introduce myself. I'm the DIY Queen Diva. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and bell button to keep updated with me in all of my videos on the weekends. Melt one tablespoon of butter. I have done previously a video on caramel apples and how to make your caramel with the caramel bits. So I'll post that link right at the top of your screen on the right side. So if you need to go back and look at the basics, go ahead and hit that link. But go ahead and melt one tablespoon of butter. Add two bags of caramel bits made by Kraft. Go ahead and stir to coat your caramel bits in the butter. I'm adding half a cup of French vanilla. Stir everything up until the caramel melts. And as soon as the caramel melts, turn your stove off and dip your apples. You need to continue to stand at the stove and stir your caramel. You do not want your caramel to burn. It's time for me to take my caramel off the stove and let this cool just a second and then dip. I am going to dip my apples, but I am not going to dip them all the way in the caramel. I want some of the green part to show on the apple. And then I just let my caramel drip and kind of scrape the bottom off on the side of the pan. But the majority of the time I'm going to shake the caramel off and just let the caramel drip off. Place your caramel apples on parchment paper. Spray a little bit of Pam on your parchment paper just to make sure your caramel apples do not stick to the parchment paper. I am going to let my apples sit here on parchment paper to cool. My house is 65 degrees, so I do not need to put my apples in the refrigerator to cool off or anything like that. So as soon as the caramel cools down, I am going to dip my apples in white chocolate. And if you do not know how to melt white chocolate, I also have a video on how to melt chocolate. So I just take my apple and dip but do not cover the whole apple. Let some of the caramel um, show. And I just let the chocolate drip off the apple. And then I just shake it towards the end. And I may scrape it on the side of my cup every now and then. But this is what it looks like when you just let it drip off. So I'm gonna lay that um, on parchment paper and dip the rest of my apples. And then I am going to drizzle some lines on my apples. Take your piping bag and just drizzle lines over the white chocolate. I am just testing my lines right now. It looks like I need to cut my bag a little further up to make my lines a little bigger. I use this fondant mold to make my roses. 
I got this one from Amazon. So I am going to place um, the flowers on the apple. I am going to also put just a tad bit of luster dust, gold luster dust on the fondant roses and attach a bow to make it look cute. I am adding chocolate on the back of the fondant to attach the flowers on the apple. I have my bow and I am going to put a dab of hot glue on the back of the bow and attach the bow to my candy apple stick. So I'm going to add some lemon to the gold luster dust and just dab a few um, drops of gold on the flowers. Okay, Queen Divas, I'm pretty much done here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about my channel. Make sure you share my channel. And you guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.